All right, this is number four from the 2008 Form B Calc A B exam, and uh, you're just given a function and has to do some stuff for it. So uh, the function is f of x, which is the integral from 0 to 3x of the square root of 4 plus t squared dt. First part is we need to find f prime of x. So this is second fundamental theorem. So it is the uh, function, the integrand there, evaluated at the upper bound. Make sure the upper bound is the function and then times the derivative of the upper bound, so times 3 in this case, and I will simplify this. So 4 plus 9x squared, so 3 square root of 4 plus 9x squared. All right, next part. We are told that g of x is f of sine of x, and we're asked to find g prime. So g prime is going to be f prime of the inner function, which is sine of x, times the derivative of the inner function, so the derivative of sine is cosine, and then we just found f prime, so let's substitute in. So we get this, and that is g prime. All right, for the next question, we are asked to find the equation of the tangent line to y equals g of x at x equals pi. So we need to know the point, and we need to know the slope. So the point will be g of pi, which is f of the sine of pi, which is the sine of pi is 0, so f of 0. And that means that we're really doing this integral. And then we know the integral from 0 to 0 of anything is just going to be 0. And we need g prime of pi. So g prime of x was 3 cosine of x radical 4 plus sine squared of x. So we're going to plug in pi everywhere we see an x to get this. Um, and then we know that the cosine of pi is negative 1. And the sine of pi is 0, so square root of 4, which is 2, so negative 6, and point slope form. All right, so that's part B. And part C says, write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that represents the maximum value of g on the interval from 0 to pi. So we're looking for the maximum of g on 0 to pi, and we have to justify it. So we're going to look at the derivative on the interval from 0 to pi. Um, so if the derivative equals 0, um, that means that cosine must be equal to 0 because radical 4 plus sine of x never equals 0, and it's always positive. So cosine equals 0, but that only happens at pi over 2 on this interval. So that's our only critical point. Now we know that the radical 4 plus sine of x is always greater than 0. Um, and if you look at a quick graph of cosine, you can see that cosine is positive to the left of pi over 2 and negative after pi over 2. So let's justify our answer. So g of x has one critical point on the interval from 0 to pi. And at that critical point, g prime changes from positive to negative. So that means that that point, x equals pi over 2, is the absolute maximum of g of x on uh, the interval. So we need to write an integral expression for the value of the function there. So it'll be g of pi over 2, which is f of sine of pi over 2. And I know the sine of pi over 2 is 1. And once I know that, I can just plug into the original function I was given. So the integral from 0 to 3 of the squared 1 plus 4t squared dt. And that's the entire question. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.